Let's now return to the Ministry of Solid Minerals Development, where Vida Lake says in the face of diminishing demands of hydrocarbon, the solid mineral sector remains a viable option for economic growth. We have details in this report. Nigeria's newly appointed Minister of Solid Minerals arrives the headquarters of the ministry to assume duty. He is welcomed by the permanent secretary, heads of agencies under the ministry, and a number of directors. The Minister of Steel Development and his Minister of State follow suit. Inside the building, Dele Alake admits his portfolio was the upset of the entire cabinet, having been pigeonholed as an information and perception manager. He promises to unveil his roadmap in days ahead, hinting that the solid mineral sector is a viable option to hydrocarbon, whose demand is on the decline. Hydrocarbon is fading out. That is the oil. It's fading out. Now you are having the world is moving towards alternative. You have gas, you have electric cars and all the like. For the Minister of Steel Development, Gaija Okuta Steel Company and other steel organizations will be revitalized. The creation of the new ministry solely for steel development underscores the vision and determination of Mr. President to our country's development. As it is well known, as it is a well known fact that steel is the bedrock of industrialization of any nation. No. At the Ministry of Labor and Productivity, the new ministers promised to take youths off the streets and into gainful employment. Ministers shall leverage on technology, skill acquisition, entrepreneurship, agriculture, among others. Latif Fagwemi promises sector reforms at the Ministry of Justice. I am open for suggestions, for, yes, criticisms. There's nothing bad in criticisms. The Minister of Communications, Innovation and Digital Economy, Boston Tijani, and the two Ministers of State, Petroleum Resources in Oil and Gas, also assumed offices with promises to meet President Bola Tinubu's set targets. The ministers are united in their determination to facilitate economic diversification. They are confident that with the support of staff, Nigeria's economy will see a massive turnaround in months and years ahead. Joke Edson, TVC News, Abuja.